So, um, hi everybody. Um, I'm Alan, and I'm going to talk about the research on tax systems and their special dynamics with silver automata. Um, and this is the uh, show schedule that we have, and this time, and as an introduction, we have some questions. Um, can cellular automata simulate a tax system? How is the process of converting a tax system to a cellular automata? Uh, so we have the uh, definition of a cellular automata uh, that we uh, were using on this um, research. Um, and the definition of cellular automata Formally, it's a tuple AC um, with sigma L U nef. Uh, sigma is, is a finite of possible states and of each cell. Um, this is the alphabet of cellular automata. L is an arrangement of dimension D. This can be uh, one, two, or three dimensions or, or more. Uh, U is a neighborhood where the cells of the grid are locally related. And it's the closest uh, end cells uh, and, and the F is a transition function um, which works with the end symbols of a neighborhood U. Uh, a particular uh, cellular automata uh, we can and that uh, we will use is a one-dimensional cellular automata um, where the central cell is influenced by its lateral cell in respect a radius r and uh, we have the this radius r and with respect uh, the central ce uh, cell we have uh, the r cells to the left and the R cells in on the right. And the transition function will take uh, its their values for uh, change the value for the central cell to another state in the alphabet, uh, like we see it here. And it's possible to calculate the post um, the configuration in a neighborhood um, and the number of possible rules with these two uh, exponential formulas. Um, and then uh, the definition of tax system is a topo T uh, with a sigma that is the alphabet of that system. H the, is the finite of, of health symbols. These health symbols um, we're going to indicate when the tax system uh, halts. R is the um, set of production rules. A production rules indicates uh, which string will be concatenated in the end of a string call it appendant and uh, when in the beginning it found a determinated symbol uh, the deletion um, number p is uh, a number that indicates a constant number of symbols that uh, it will to delete every computation step uh, now how works uh, a tax system well, um, uh, we can simply provide the production rules and the deletion numbers. Um, for example, uh, the tax system that generates a Fibonacci strings, uh, well, the Fibonacci strings is like a Fibonacci sequence. And um, this uh, sequence generates a string by concatenating the two previous strings using these two initial um, conditions and this formula. 
and up to n equal one, uh, four uh, of Fibonacci strings, we have uh, these uh, strings uh, produced. And the tag system for simulate this behavior is uh, this one. Uh, 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 with these two production rules and uh, the election num number uh, p equals one and after uh, 12 computation step we get uh, the f4 as we see before like this so uh, this uh, this is how works a uh, tax system um, we have the initial string zero, then uh, tag system uh, deletes the first uh, symbol in the string and concatenate the appendant. Uh, in this case, we have a zero. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be concatenated this appendant a string zero and one, then uh, will be and del um, delete uh, the next zero and concatenate it the zero one and then will be delete the one and concatenate it as zero uh, and in this um, way we uh, we will have the um, a string and uh, in the f four. Uh, for a special visualization of tax system, uh, as um, we can um, put the actual string uh, um, uh, on the, the last string, and then uh, putting uh, all the strings, we can see this uh, form Ooh. and well um, the tax problem tax system well um, Emil Foss uh, uh, when Emil Foss has created the tax systems in 1921 um, uh, he came across one in particular that took a long time to analyze. This tax system with these two production rules and the latent number p equals three, uh, uh, whose behavior made him wonder if for one for someone string, this would not stop but would continue infinitely without necessarily entering a loop. Um, Wolfram, Stephen Wolfram, um, has tried to find uh, that string, but uh, even uh, he, he, he hasn't uh, found it. Um, on tax systems, we have two fundamental mechanisms as we uh, looked before, uh, the deletion and concatenating the appendant string by checking the first character of a string. In a phenotypic way, we have uh, some patterns, uh, the shift to the left, uh, cycles and substring blocks. Um, as we uh, see before, we can uh, observe these um, parents and the moment, for example, and this uh, shift um, and the substrings moving uh, in, the same, in the same way to the left. So there, there is a open problem to to solve, can we find the transition rules of a one-dimensional cellular automaton that simulates such behavior? A first answer to this question is not, we cannot. It's indeterminate uh, to find these transition rules uh, that simulate this phenotypic parent. 
because uh, them <clears throat> because we cannot uh, now know uh, what uh, which appendant uh, to concatenate it uh, at the end of the string because we uh, we have to know uh, the first um, symbol in the string for concatenating the uh, pendant and the end of the string. So we uh, found um, uh, a way to to convert a tax system to a cellular automata um, using the the example of this uh, tax system with these two production rules and p equals three. It's possible to identify uh, the alphabet that is uh, zero and one. Uh, it, it has a binary alphabet. And the set of production rules is this one. And the set of the appendants is zero, zero, and one, one, zero, and one. Uh, OK, if uh, for conveying this uh, tax system to a cellular automata, we have a, a cellular automata CA that um, have the alphabet uh, sigma CA. L is an array of dimension one because this is a one dimensional cellular automata. U is a neighborhood with radius one. Uh, we can we will have the center uh, cell and the uh, the left side cell and the right side cell and the F um, transition rule uh, with the following transition rules. Um, well, um, to find the alphabet um, to the, this cellular automata. We uh, will divide this on parts and the union of these parts uh, we, uh, will uh, be the um, alphabet of the CA. Uh, in, in, few, um, in first place, we have this um, N symbol. And is the symbol of the null space um, around the string of uh, the tag system. Uh, we have two um, control symbols or flags, L and U, L for log and U for log, and the alphabet of tag system, and three um, uh, alphabets, um, a set of symbols for deletion, a set of symbols for a signal, and set of symbol for the appending and strings. Uh, for now, uh, which symbols will have this um, these last three alphabets? We uh, can use a uh, heuristic form to know this uh, um, these number of symbols. Uh, in this case. Uh, to the deletion alphabet, we have four symbols because we necessarily uh, ha have to um, use uh, two symbols for one and two symbols for zero. And for this deletion, we have uh, two more symbols uh, that we will use for send a signal to the end of the string. And and these two symbols will be the alphabet S, A for zero and B for one. And how works the deletion? Well, um, the deletion um, starts with the first known symbol in the string and will result in the next one, just like this sequence. As we see here, we have the sequence at symbols that will be substituted. Uh, the zero will be substituted by W and, the, and then Y and then A and then L. 
and this L symbol will uh, it will uh, leave the L symbol to lock the side of the string. Uh, the beginning of the string will uh, be blocked um, with the L symbol for no repeat this process till uh, this finished. And this is the rules for the relation and locking um, uh, the um, initial string. And the X, uh, the upper X is for um, any symbol. And this, uh, we have this, these rules. And uh, as an example, we have these two um, simulations that we made. And we can see how uh, the initial string uh, is, uh, how works the deletion in this deletion extreme. Uh, we have uh, that every symbol is uh, following by the last one for the deletion. And then uh, this leaves the L symbol for locking this side of, of the string. A signal sent. Um, we have to send a signal uh, to the end of the string for knowing um, which appendant to concatenate and displace. Um, and with these two uh, symbols that we uh, definite um, before, uh, A for zero and B for one, and we'll move to the end of the string uh, using the following rules. This is the movement uh, rules for uh, every signal symbol. And this is a simulation as uh, example. The B will move to the end of a string and the A will, will move to the end of a string. And we see that uh, L symbol is locking the, um, this side of a string. And the concatenation of appendant strings uh, for knowing uh, which number of symbols we have the, uh, the sigma of the appendants, we can um, know the uh, length of every appendant. Um, and with this uh, form, uh, we can obtain the number of symbols uh, for each uh, appendant. Uh, for, for example, for zero, zero, we have a and C, the signal and a C uh, symbol. And then you, uh, we will see um, how works the U symbol or, or flag. Um, for concatenating uh, an appendant, we have to uh, um, start with A. When A symbol, uh, um, reach at the the end of the string uh, will leave the first zero and and the C symbol and then C symbol will leave the uh, next zero and then the U symbol with the rules and the same for the appendant and uh, one one zero one and this have a uh, simulation by uh, as example, we have here uh, the A symbol uh, leave the zero and the, and the C symbol and C symbol leave the uh, next zero and the U symbol. And the same in, in this case. And the unlock where um, for unlock the L symbol, we have the U symbol or flag. This flag will be mo um, will move to the end to the start of the of the string. And for 
uh, delete the LC, the L flag and itself. And like this, uh, the U symbol will move to the start of a string. And when these two flags uh, are uh, together, uh, we'll compare it to the end symbol. And the stability rules uh, are used for uh, the stability of the phase uh, between the zeros and ones and the null space. Uh, and these uh, rules that are um, uh, simplified with uh, regular uh, expressions. Uh, we have these four rules. And the resulting cellular automata is this one uh, with this alphabet, uh, the, this arrangement of one dimensional, this uh, neighborhood with uh, three cells, and the uh, 18.5 rules uh, that we defined before. And we can see a simulation and this way. Um, this is a, a simulation of this cellular automata with a random, a random initial string. And we have this result for simulating uh, uh, the tax system that we defined before uh, that produce these three uh, strings. When we can see the the um, the, the behavior of this attack system, and we can see uh, here uh, the strings generate uh, here, and how works this uh, mechanism that we uh, can simulate with this cellular automata. And for discussion, uh, this conversion process can be generalized for all tax uh, all tax systems with a binary alphabet. And the legend number P, we only have to I uh, use the the alphabet for deletion, depending on the deletion number P, and appendants depending the length of the upper of the appendants. And it's possible to generalize this process to any tax system. Uh, we conjecture that an algorithm that performs uh, this conversion uh, can be found by establishing the step to find all the transition rules uh, of the equivalent cellular automata. And uh, we have this reference. And that's all. Thank you, you all. If you have questions, this is the time. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You have uh, are there any question? Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, in your uh, in your slide uh, at the end, uh, you, you showed the references, and uh, it, it includes uh, Matthew Cook's uh, yeah famous work. On, uh, on universality in elementary cellular automata. And uh, yeah, in this work also, yeah, not tag system, cyclic tag systems, I guess a kind of tag system is implemented by yeah. cellular automata 110. So yeah, yeah is there any relationship with your work and uh, uh, Cook's uh, yeah, proof? Is there any relationship or how, how tag systems are simulated? Yeah, and uh, of course, is, um, the tag system he uh, simulates um, is, uh, uh, of course, a, a cyclic tag system. Mm -hmm. And because, uh, but he, um, he simulates the tag system by uh, collision uh, by particle particles collision, uh, and but not produce the the strings 
of the tax system uh, uh, directly because uh, the zeros and ones or the alphabet of tax system is simulated by the particulars and um, particles that uh, he simulated and his work. Uh, and the, in this uh, search, we simulate the um, string produced uh, by the tax system, uh, classic tax system, uh, because we have, for example, these uh, these strings, and the cellular automata uh, produce the strings like this, and the um, the equivalent string. Uh, as the tax system uh, uh, works, um, but the um, the simulation of Cook Matthew Cook is uh, uh, with using uh, particles um, with gliders and and the space and the the role. Um, Hundred uh, ten. Uh, um, in this way, he is simulating a tax system, but not producing the exactly uh, strings that the tax system produce. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So, Katsunobu, in my. Oh, okay. Then. Uh, you have mentioned uh, uh, your construction can be extended to our uh, uh, general tau system. So, the, how is the state complexity for P tau system with some number of alphabet? Um, yeah, um, the um, complexity of this uh, task is um, to uh, find the algorithm uh, that can uh, produce uh, all the transition rules because uh, the transition rules, uh, as for example, we uh, have uh, 85 rules defined define for this only tax system. Um, to find this algorithm, uh, for example, a tax system with uh, with three uh, symbols in the alphabet uh, can produce a more uh, rules. And to uh, to find, for example, uh, a three alphabet uh, tax system, uh, we can use. A uh, generalized form of these rules, and um, and the complexity uh, is is this uh, this task to find the transition rules for every tax system that we uh, that, uh, we propose, because for example, uh, to find the alphabet is uh, is uh, easy task because we can use this um, mm. uh, we can use this uh, heuristic uh, way calculating uh, the number of symbols that uh, that every part of of this um, alphabet uh, have to be, have to will, will have and the task is for um, finding this um, these transition rules, but uh, and our searching or research, uh, we we uh, are looking for this algorithm, and um, we have a, a, a proposal for uh, for this algorithm. But uh, this algorithm is is, um, is uh, um, well. We are proving this this algorithm for finding these rules, and then uh, uh, it's too possible that this algorithm that we have 
uh, is the algorithm that um, find the, the all the rules. Uh, at least uh, using um, regular expressions, mm. bit, uh, like this. Uh, using uh, this way, we can simplify the uh, this task of uh, finding the the transition rules because we, uh, for example, we have a, uh, here. Uh, all the uh, uh, the um, deletion uh, symbols, mm -hmm. only all the deletion symbols and the uh, signal symbols with the um, the appendant symbols as we know before. So in this case, we can generalize uh, putting any. Uh, signal symbols and any appendant symbols and any uh, delete symbols mm. uh, for example uh, in this case and uh, this can be for the transition rules that we saw before mm. okay okay thank you very much i think <laughs> yeah the time is up and so thank you very much for the speaker again thank you